and the games are on. Many know about legendary athlete Jesse Owens and his trip to compete in the 1936 Olympics. What many don't know Williams is, ahead. He's going away. is that he wasn't alone in Berlin. You had Archie Williams, freshman, he wins the gold medal. Ralph Metcalf, Dr. James Laval, the first black chemist at Kodak. He was also on this team. Mac Robinson, Tidy Pickett, Louise Stokes, and the list goes on. They also made history, but their stories were never told. We should know all the heroes. So writer and director Deborah Riley Draper decided to expose the forgotten truth through film. So I thought, what a tremendous testimony to what people can do even when they're marginalized. <laughs> In 2016, she released Olympic Pride American Prejudice. For the first time, the spotlight was on the 16 black men and two black women who defied Jim Crow and defined bravery. Ten years before Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier, his brother stood on a medal stand in Nazi Germany and received an Olympic medal. You see those two black women walk across the field and stand tall and proud and look at Adolf Hitler open the games, the chills run down your spine. That's something I'm very passionate about. Those same chills have served as inspiration for Terrence Trammell, a three-time Olympian and two-time silver medalist from Decatur. These athletes were pioneers, you know, for us to be able to travel abroad and see different cultures and be a part of history ourselves. But why did it take a filmmaker to highlight this history? The media narrows the African-American experience down to one representative to tell that story. And in this case, it was much more about government propaganda to pit Jesse Owens against Adolf Hitler that told the story of even a Negro can beat the Aryans. She also says many Southern newspapers simply chose to ignore it. If you examine that story, you need to examine this culture of racism, you know, this culture of oppression, Jim Crow laws. The fact is, this group of athletic elites were still second class citizens on American soil. There was a sense of, we don't care about what you did there here you're still second class. Eight decades later, Draper is hoping to change the conversation. It can't be just black history. Draper is right. This story is a matter of human history, world history, and social justice. And she will continue telling that story by holding a special screening of the film Saturday. The event will raise money for two local Boy Scout troops and will be moderated by CBS 46 anchor Tracy Hutchins. So if you'd like to attend, just head to our website, cbs46.com, for details. Brittany Miller, CBS 46 News.